On the way toward Bethgalet, lovely little Snowdonian village. We stopped up here for a nice viewpoint, although we're shooting into the light, unfortunately. Trials of being a photographer. That is Clint Gwynant. This is the village of Bethgalet. It's supposed to be one of the most lovely in Snowdonia. This is a nice shot. We haven't got the sun on the bridge, but far from that, you can see the set and it's beautiful. But as you can see, it's got a beautiful, beautiful location set as it is amongst the hills and mountains of Snowdonia. Beautiful day and a nice day to get some pictures and video. I must say I find this Welsh dragon rather impressive. Oh, it's beautiful. I can hear the sound there uh, of the wind chimes the type I like. Lovely, lovely sound. <laughs> yes. And you hear the beautiful eagle carving. That's really nicely done. Right next to the beautiful dragon carving. The sound, the bamboo wind sounds. And I love that sound. Beautiful. Nice little wind by the river. And in the near distance. Beautiful. Well, I was going to hire a bike to get around this village, but uh, I don't think they'll let me have that one. <laughs> it's a large group of people come to see the grave of a dog. Actually, it's a fascinating story. The story of Gillette. And we begin the story of Bed Gillet. Now, this is the story, and we're going down to see the grave of a dog. That's the grave of a dog. And Bed Gillet in Welsh. Translates to English as Gillet's Grave. The story starts, it begins with Prince Llewellyn. Prince Llewellyn was a great man in this area and he had, obviously Glaslyn Bridge wasn't there then, but the river was. Now he had his favourite hunting dog, Gellert. One day the prince went hunting but he never took his favourite hunting dog with him. He left Gellert behind and Gellert was to guard the prince's son, baby son. Prince Llewellyn returned from his hunting ship and Gellert's faithful town bounded out to greet him. But there was no sign of the prince's son. But the cot, oh the cot, was overturned. And Gellert was standing in front of it with blood covering him all over him. Oh dear. The prince, naturally thinking that Gellert had killed and eaten the baby, took out his sword and plunged it into Gellert's side, killing the faithful hound instantly. But then the prince looked behind the overturned cot and found his baby, safe and well. And next to him lay the body of a huge wolf that had been trying to kill the prince, the young prince, and Gellert, the faithful hound, had killed the wolf and saved the child. The prince, so full of remorse, brought the body of his faithful hound and put this monument over his remains. It's said that the prince never smiled again after this. Nice story? true well <laughs> you decide there's something about places like this you can hear the sound of the water rushing between the rocks and this is a walk from Beckley it's only about half an hour along the river from here and it's beautiful that way as you can see not the greatest disguise for my photography but never mind I'm enjoying it anyway moving along back towards Beckley now and uh, I have to take a little walk along this fairly substantial looking wooden bridge, I hope. <laughs> Moving on. The sound of the river rushing through in the background is a dark and mysterious cave there. Hmm. No hermits there, of Welsh or any other variety. And the end of the bridge leads us to our path alongside the river and upwards of that slope and towards Pekele. Right. Doesn't need any commentary this really, is it? Beautiful. 